So we're here in a century home in the heart of Toronto. This is a home for a couple who's well-traveled and lived in Central America for a number of years. So they were open to using texture and colors and interesting details. The homeowners really wanted to refresh this entire main floor. They had a lot of typical requirements when it comes to long and narrow houses. How do you deal with storage at the front? How do you bring in more natural light if you can? And about a year ago, we reconnected and they brought me in to share in this adventure with them. So the entrance was basically, you walked right into the space. It was completely revealing, there was no intrigue. There's always the challenge of how do you define that space, that entrance vestibule. So we created almost a negative space by having cabinetry create the appearance of a vestibule, but there's no doors. And this also enables you to engage into the space in two ways. You can either go straight up the stairs or turn into the living room. One of the tiles that we selected was this encaustic cement tile from Mexico. It just kind of picked up on that Central America theme. And I think it'll age well. It'll show its patina, it'll show the scratches and the stains over time, but it suits the house. The living room was, was still uh, located here at the front of the house. The furniture was not quite right, it was too big, and ultimately we knew that this was going to have to be revisited. The sitting area got a little bit smaller, so we need a smaller furniture to be able to navigate and circulate around the space. The fireplace in the living room was completely redone. We wanted to create something that was very shallow, and to create a better sense of depth on the fireplace, we created angled side panels, so that way it focuses the attention towards the fireplace. It's almost like a picture frame. The dining room was also located here previously. It's in the center of the house. But that dining room was improved by having, again, a larger table. And also, we brought in more natural light into the core of the house by replacing a small side window with another door that accesses the yard. The feature wall is a really interesting thing. So these are actually terracotta bricks that are specifically designed to be used as a screen material. It gives you a nice sense of transparency into the stairs, but privacy, and at night, the way it illuminates just gives a nice warm glow to the space. So the challenge with these small footprints of floor plates is how do you incorporate the powder room and how do you gain access to the powder room? We added another pocket door to further separate the powder room. The powder room here is really close to the dining room. And so adding a pocket door kind of gives you a little bit more of a sense of privacy. The kitchen previously was not functional. It was disjointed, not enough counter space, and strange sink location that didn't have counter space on either side. We tried to maximize the amount of space that we could use. So we created two long counters, opened up the back of the house with large windows and doors, and we even were able to squeeze in a small breakfast area. There was a small peninsula that created a bit of a division between the dining room and the kitchen. And I said, we should just get rid of this and actually put a wall at the end of our counter run. In a small space, you don't want to compartmentalize too much. And it's a nice little corner that you can tuck in small appliances, and at least it's going to give you that separation with the dining room. The outside was also updated in some way because we wanted to create a much larger opening. This gave us an opportunity to also extend the size of that glazing up to the second floor. This is almost a nod, interestingly enough, to all the condos and the tall towers around the back of the house. I think the biggest improvement is really the amount of natural light that you have in the space. So having large windows at the back and maximizing the amount of light that you can bring into the core of the house as well really is excellent value for the money. The homeowners are thrilled. They've hosted a number of their friends and uh, it's, been, it's been really well received.